and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on and bless the Lord with me. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, say hallelujah. section let us know that you are there let us know that you are there and if you are here in the place right now you can pull your phone out and you can uh, uh, tap the QR code right there tap the QR code because at people for Christ ministries we want to communicate we want to stay connected with our people amen amen we just give God the thanks we give God the praise for all that he is doing here with people of Christ Ministries, 10511 Main Street in the middle of Sasser, where Apostle Dr. Thomas Haddon III is our founder and our pastor. Come on, give him a hand, clap of praise. First Lady, we all need you, thank you right now. Mother Weaver, we thank God for you. She looks beautiful today. Hallelujah. Everybody that are in their respective places, in their respective places, we thank God for you being here at People for Christ Ministries today. Being here at People for Christ Ministries today. I'm going to give some announcements before, before we go any further. I have some announcements that's coming up. If we can get it up on the screen, if possible. Amen, 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 amen. Every... Tuesday, we're going to start every Tuesday. Every Tuesday, we have our table talk discussion that, that takes place every Tuesday night at 7 p.m. You can join that table talk discussion at 7 p.m. on YouTube, on YouTube only. Come on, feel free to chime in from time to time. We have questionnaires. We have questions on there. If you have any questions, you can put it in the, in the, in the comment section, and we'll be sure to get that question answered 
for you. Amen. 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 Every Wednesday, every Wednesday, we have our Straight Talk Bible Study class here every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. at People for Christ Ministry. You don't want to miss that. If you want to learn about the Word of God, you want to develop your relationship with the Word of God, this is the place for you to be Amen. every Wednesday night at 7 p.m. For our straight talk Bible study class. Amen, amen, amen. And this fourth Sunday, this fourth Sunday, we have Sister Reverend Linda Andrews. She's going to be delivering the word this fourth Sunday. So we're inviting everybody to come on out from Facebook and YouTube. Come and join us here at People for Christ Ministries for that Sunday, for that Sunday. And if you haven't done so already, pull out your phone, pull out your phone, and you're going to save the date. We're going to save the date for June 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. That's That weekend going on right there is going to be a family, friends, and, and fun day, family and friends day, fun weekend here at People for Christ Ministries, People for Christ Ministries. On that Friday night, we're going to have a movie night back, back there on the lawn. We're going to have a movie night. That Saturday, we're going to have food, fun, and games, all in worship. Father God, we just thank you. And that Sunday, that Sunday, we're going to have praise and worship. So we're inviting everybody to come on out here on YouTube and Facebook. You can come on out. Everybody that's in the building today, I want you to invite at least 10 people. 10 people. Don't come in here if you got if you got nine people, don't come. Now 10 people. I want 10 people for everybody to come up in here. And uh, we're gonna praise the Lord that whole weekend. We're gonna fellowship and we're gonna get in the community and do what the Lord has for us to do here at People for Christ Ministries. And we thank God for what He's doing here at People for Christ Ministries. As you can see, there's some changes that's going on at People for Christ Ministries. And we want everybody that's here, that's of the body, to be in accordance and on board with what we have. For that event weekend, we're still looking for volunteers. We're going to have a meeting right after church. I, I don't see some of them that are here right now, but we're going to have a brief meeting after service today to discuss everything that's going to be going on. Amen. And we just thank God. I want to thank God for Brother Sylvester. Brother Sylvester, stand up, Brother Sylvester. Brother Sylvester is an awesome brother. We want to stand up. But we thank everybody already know who he is, but we thank God for Brother Sylvester. He came out. He called me 8 o'clock yesterday morning. He thought I was in the bed, but I was already out working just like he was. <laughs> he said, you're always working. Yeah, I'm always working. But he came out here and he striped that, that, that parking lot out there. It looked like a parking lot out there. We thank God. We thank God for you. God is blessing. God is blessing here at People for Christ Ministries. We get, listen. Listen. It's time to stop spectating. And start participating. Amen. And that's what you just displayed, brother. And I thank yeah. God for you. God is a blessing. And we thank God for you. We thank God for you for what he's doing. We have another announcement that's going to be coming up from First Lady. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord, Saint Paul. Praise the Lord. I just want to get the ladies excited about our upcoming our women's conference this year that's going to take place on May 10th, May 11th. On that Friday night, May 10th at 7 p.m., we have Minister Erica Harrington that's going to be coming from Northside Missionary Baptist Church. She'll be our guest speaker for that night. Also on that Saturday morning, May 11th at 9 a.m., we have Dr. Terry Parker Rowe from St. John Cathedral. Uh, she will be our speaker for that Saturday morning. Amen. So we want you to get excited. Go ahead and start telling your friends, telling your neighbors. You know, the tickets is a donation of $30. You can go ahead and pay for that. We have all our information on social media. If you want to do Zelle, you can just put in my phone number. It goes into that particular account. You can do it that way. If you want to do Cash App, PayPal, you can also pay that way as well. But most of all, we have Sister Danielle, who's my sister. She has been working with me on these uh, flyers and also on the t-shirt, her and Brother Marcus. Well, I want to, I want to direct you to the PFCM Apparel. Uh, clothing line. So we do have a PFCM uh, pair of clothing line. The shirts for the women conference is out there. I ordered my shirt. You go ahead and just pay online. You can pay with your debit bed visa card or you can pay with PayPal. And then UPS will deliver that to you in your mailbox. 
So I got my shirt uh, uh, this week in the mail, so they have the sizes. So we want you to go out there and get your shirts, because I would love to see our ladies, our sisters, our friends. We would love to see you in your woman evolve shirts for this conference 2024. So go out there and look at it. It's like less than 30 bucks. That's including shipping and handling. Amen. So I want you to just get excited, ladies, get excited because God is going to do something different this year. I think this year is a peculiar person, a peculiar, a, I'm sorry, a peculiar people. And also it is women that is involving, amen, that we evolve, amen. amen. So God is doing something different through us and we want to become all that God will have us to become, amen. 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 I've got one more announcement. Next Saturday at 6.30 on the 13th, we will have our men's meeting here at 6.30. We're asking all the men to come on out. We're going to sit down. We're going to fellowship. We're going to learn the Bible. We're going to talk about some day-to-day -day issues. And it's going to be a, a good fellowship for the brotherhood of People for Christ Ministries. If you're on YouTube, you're on Facebook, you're watching right now. All the brothers, I invite brothers to come on out. Be a part of this ministry. You don't want to miss it. You don't want to miss it. I, I'm telling you, it's going to be something uplifting for you. Amen. Amen. I have birthdays. I almost forgot the birthdays. I almost forget the birthdays. Okay, for the month of April, put your hands together for the birthdays. Sister Rita Lark on the 7th. Brother Alex Smith on the 16th. Sister Connie Smith on the 17th. Sister Arnita on the 22nd. Sister Marcia Northley on the 26th. And we want to say happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. But listen, that's not it. We got the happy birthday song for you. Hey, we got to do the happy birthday song. It won't be right if we don't do the happy birthday song. Come on, come on, come on, real power. Give us the happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, birthday to you. Ministries, amen. I'm just excited right now. Come on, get excited for God for what he's doing. For what he's doing, what he's going to do. And another announcement before we go on, I just want to make mention because we do have visitors and we want to make you know of what it is that we do here at People for Christ Ministries. Our mission is to win the souls of the lost and to teach the found. Amen. Amen. And on the back, back there, we have a little bit of five acres back there. And we're in front of the board. We're going before the board, Hillsborough County Board Builders Commission. And we're looking to build tiny homes for the homeless back here on our property. And the, uh, the, the whole initiative is to uh, get the homeless back on their feet. That's the, whole, that's the whole mission for the initiative, to give them the skills, the tools that they need to get reactivated back to society. There's going to be a medical staff here that's going to be helping now. We're going to try to get them credit repair, to get them job placements, drug and alcohol abuse awareness. So there's going to be a lot that's going on here at People for Christ Ministries. And you, and you, and you, we want you to be a part of that mission. So I'm excited about that. Come on, give God a praise. Give God a praise for what he's doing. Because we, we, we ought to give a hallelujah praise oh, when yeah. it's due. Amen. Because God is doing some changes in this ministry. God is doing some changes in your life. If you could just think back on what he just brought you from. Yes. If I just think back on what he brought you from. And from where I am right now, my souls cry out and say, Hallelujah! Thank you.
thank you for changing my life. Thank you for changing my life. Thank you for changing my mind. Thank you for giving me new life. Thank you for giving me a new nature. Thank you for making me new all over again. And I thank you. Thank you. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'm never going back. Yes, Lord. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'm
he reaches to the guttermost and bring us to the uttermost. <laughs> yeah, he came to the gutter to get me. This is the type of God I serve. Didn't think it was robbery to humble himself to come see about his people. And that's why I'm going to praise him. That's why I'm going to worship him and give him all the honor, all the praise, all the glory. Open up your mouth and give him glory. See, your promotion doesn't come from your job. Promotion doesn't come from people. Psalm 75 and 6 say promotion doesn't come from the east or the west. But promotion comes from God. When God get ready to bless you, the devil, nobody else can block it or stop it. That's why you got to open up your mind and give God some praise in this place. I believe it's a miracle in the house today. There's a blessing in this place today. Which next week, somebody's going to get an answer they've been looking for. And God said it's going to be favorable. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes. I hear proof for somebody. I don't know what it is, but somebody just got to prove. And you got to ask yourself, is it anything too hard for God? And the answer is absolutely not. He can do exceeding and abundantly above all that I can think or ask according to the power the Holy Ghost that worketh in you and in me. Give him one more clap of praise. Give him one more shot. You need to go in and shout at the devil. Get him out your business. Get him out your house. Get him out your way right now. Tell him he's a loser. He can't win. Jesus went. I'm in my winning season. Somebody need to praise him. Praise him. Praise him. He's worthy. He's worthy. Giving an honor to God, Jesus, and the Holy Ghost. Great one and three. How his praises be. Want to recognize our cousins sent in Lance in the house. Robert Jr. in the house. My sister. Bless you. Thank you for being at People for Christ Ministries today, making it your worship place. Amen. 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 Turn with me to First Chronicles chapter 4. First Chronicles chapter 4. Just two verses today. Verses 9 and 10, when you find it, stand for the reading of his infallible and inerrant word. Amen. Now, Jabez was more honorable than his brothers, and his mother called his name Jabez, saying, because I bore him in pain. Mm -hmm. And Jabez called on the God of Israel, saying, oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. So God granted him what he requested. May the Lord add a blessing to the doers and hears of his holy and infallible word. Amen. I'd like to talk to you a little bit from a subject and a subject. The subject is think big. Come on now. That's what the Lord told me to tell. He told me that. So he told me to tell the church that think big. All right. Think big. Think outside of the box. The subject is supersize me. All right, now. Super size me. Mm -hmm. When I look at First Chronicles in the Old Testament, give you a little bit of background. A chronicle means that it's records 
that are kept and recorded of historical events. So when you see First and Second Chronicles, it's a, a compilation of all of the historical events that have taken place between the royal bloodline of Jesus and the Davidic line of King David. So here, they had a problem because they just came out of captivity 70 years in Babylon. And now the family tree have gotten messed up. You can't go to ancestors.com back then. You couldn't go to familytree.com back there. They had to compile the records so they can keep the bloodline straight. Yes, sir. The royal bloodline and the bloodline of Judah. So Jabez, his Hebrew names mean pain, born in pain. It means grief. Something happened while his mother was delivering him that caused her much pain mm -hmm. that she almost died. So that's why she named her son Jabez, which means pain or grief. But also there's a town in Judah called Jabez. So she named him after that particular town. So the chronicle was his family, everybody in the tribe of Judah from the different lineage, even the born again believers have a trade. They have a talent. They have a gift that God have blessed them with. So his family lineage, because he was the head of his family, were scribes, which means that they was writers, they was journalists, and they would compile things and put it together. So his family was putting back together their family tree, tracing it because you know when you come into captivity and people get separated, people go all different places and all different ways. Yes. But we got to keep the lineage going because we don't want to miss the blessing mm -hmm. that God have for you. And God told me to tell us today, you got to think big. Uh -huh. You got to go past what you see All right. to what you believe. First of all, he got to do an inside job on the inside of us before he work on the outside of us. If you want to be enlarged outside and expanded, you got to be expanded on the inside. In other words, he does a reconstruction, a remodeling job on you. He got to tear out some stuff in us so he can make room. All right. So he can enlarge our territory. Because the more room he get in us, the more he can work through us to bring his purposes and plans to pass. We're going to work the prayer in a minute. But as I'm talking and hearing him, Right now, here's the thing. If you want to be supersized, and if you want to think big, you got to go from 3D to 4D. All right, then. Now, what do I mean by that? Most people want a blessing, right? You already blessed. Mm -hmm. You got a roof over your head. Yeah. You got food, right? Yes, Lord. You got transportation. Come on. So you bless. But to go to 4D, you got to be what Jabez said. I want to be blessed indeed. Yeah. See, I want to I want an indeed blessing. That means I'm going to 4D. So what do I mean by that? <laughs> Thank you, Holy Ghost. If you keep God busy, God will keep you busy. All right, Jesus. The problem is most people don't keep it busy. Mm -hmm. You can't just communicate and build a relationship when you got issues or problems. Mm -hmm. When things are not right, he, 
He's not sugar daddy. No. As I said last week, God don't work for us. We work for God. So indeed means without a doubt. It's a certainty. Bless me indeed. Now that gets God's attention. You got the natural blessings. But what you need is supernatural favor from God. Two, two ways God transfers wealth. Through wisdom and favor. Uh -huh. Wisdom comes from God. So that means I got to get the mind of God. Let that mind that was in Christ Jesus be also in me. Favor. Supernatural favor. What that means. It says in Luke 2 52. Jesus grew in stature. Favor. And wisdom with God and man. If you get favor with God, God will give you favor with man. He'll give you favor with people that got more than you got. He'll give you favor with people that can partner with you. And also to sow resources with you. To bring you into that destiny and purpose that God has for you. Quit looking at your surroundings. You got to look up yes, to the hills from which cometh all of our help. All of our help come from the Lord Amen. who made the heavens and the earth. Your dependence has to be in God. I don't remember get to my points, but you got to look at Jabez here with this prayer. His prayer was an open-ended prayer. It wasn't a specific prayer. When you ask for specific things, it's based on the term of the deal you asking God to do. But his was open-ended. What he was saying, Lord, anyway, you want to bless me. As you see fit, that's what I want to receive. He said, in other words, I'm an empty cup coming before you. You fill me the way you want it. Three quarters full, completely full. Anyway, then that means now I am open to your will and not my will because sometimes specific prayers can be self-centered. Right. It can be what I want. But I got to always want what God wants. Amen. It's got to be by God. Yeah. It's God and God alone. Because when you don't have a job and you seeking to please God, he'll still put provisions on your table. He'll still make a way. Something broke that needs to be fixed. He know how to fix it. He know how to get it done. He'll do things supernaturally for you. And he can do what no other power, no other power. Yes. Holy Ghost yes, power can do. Amen. So the first thing I want you to see besides what I told you, if you keep God busy, mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, I keep him busy. Mm -hmm. Early in the morning, Late at night, you got to keep him busy. Amen. You got to give God something big yeah. and not something you can handle. God wants stuff that you can think about. He says he's able to do more than I can even think uh -huh. yeah. or ask. Yes, so that means he wants me to go outside of my limitations. Uh -huh. And come to him who is able to do all of these things. Look at your neighbor. Anytime God is going to bless something, he's going to always give you something that's over your head and bigger than you. I learned to trust God, Robert. See, you can't look at what you got. 
here, but you got to look who you have, which is the Lord. Yes, sir. So, Pastor, let me tell you something about business right now. He told me to tell you this right here. He said, God's math All right. <laughs> supersedes any other math around here. Money wise, what I'm talking about. What I mean by his man. I don't understand how he take two fish and five loaves of bread and feed the 5,000 men plus the women and the children, 20,000 people. Well, that's God's man. I can't figure that out. That's God. He'll let somebody be lame for 38 years. And show up at the pool of Bethesda. Everybody else got to jump in the water when the angel troubled the water. But the man that couldn't get it and nobody else wanted to put him in, Jesus showed up and just said, Rise up and walk. Take up your bed and You got to get God's attention. You got to get bless me. Indeed. Enlarge my territory. Robert, you can have it. Sylvester, you can have it. Everybody else can have it. If the rappers can have it, and the athletes can have it, don't you know my God got more than any of them got? And he wants to transfer some stuff to his people. The only thing he won't when he do it is is you not to take any credit, not for me to take any credit, but say, it's the Lord's doing. And it's marvelous in my eyes. Somebody need to give him praise. Somebody need to give him glory. So he told me to tell you, if you don't invest in the kingdom of God, how can you fix your mouth to ask the kingdom of God to invest in you? It's sowing and reaping. Genesis 8.22 says, long as the earth remains, there will always be seed time and harvest. If you don't sow no seed, you can't get no harvest. So when you sow into him, he sows into you. There's a transfer that takes place. Have you ever been troubled by something and, and your faith has developed to a level where you're not walking the floor, sitting up all night, but you just go to bed yes, sir. and lay down and go to sleep. That's a sign of faith. Yes, sir. When trouble is there everywhere and you can go to sleep. But when you wake up the next morning, you got a thought. That thought didn't come from you, but that thought came from God. Right. You got to act on what God showed you and what God is telling you. So then, <laughs> he said, you cannot have divine fellowship if you have a human fellowship. Human fellowship will not get you to the blessed indeed. It comes from God. All good and perfect gifts come down from the Father of light. In him there is no variety. See, I, I love the Lord. You got to love the Lord like this here. You know we'll change like the weather. Depending on what our mood is, depending on what's going on, one minute we're blessing the Lord, next minute we're cursing, or whatever else. But God is the same yesterday, this day, and forevermore. God doesn't change. He still loves me just as all he always have, and you as well. He don't change. What his word says, that's what he'll do. He watches over his word to perform it. If he said it, you got to know he will perform it. He said, I'm healed, but then I'm healed. Bless me indeed. Yeah. Now this one I want you to get if you don't get nothing else. Because it bless me. We must learn to operate 
where we came from and not where we are. That's 4D. Operate from where I came from. I came from heaven. You did too. But my body was born in Tampa. Somebody missed it. Because I was a living spirit before I got in a body. Amen. Amen. Yes. So I'm from heaven. Because I was a spirit first. You were a spirit first. Your mom and daddy hooked up. And you were born in Tampa, Haines City, or Bradenton, or wherever at. That's where my body was born. But my spirit came from heaven where everything is at. Where all of the wealth is at. Where all of the health is at. With God. So then it means I got to operate in the spirit realm and not the fleshly realm. Yeah. If I want to be blessed, All right. indeed. indeed. Jephthah said I was born in pain, but Lord, I don't want to cause no pain. Because I know what pain feels like. Mm -hmm. See, anytime the enemy attacks you, it will always be in the natural. He cannot attack me in the spirit. Because greater is the Holy Spirit in me. And you than the devil is in the world. He can attack my natural stuff. But he can't attack my supernatural stuff. There's some stuff God got for me that he going to release. And for you too. That the devil can't stop. Yes, 
Whatever it is, you gonna work it out. I may be in some pain, but I still gotta praise. I'm gonna praise God from whom all blessings flow. While I'm waiting on the word to destroy the root cause of that thing that's causing me pain. I got to get to the root of it because he is the root and the offspring of Jesse. You got to deal with the root of any situation. Bless me indeed. See, I don't know about you, but I gave up too much to do this here. Bless me indeed and enlarge my territory. God said, well, I finished enlarging the inside of you. Then everything around you go expand. Oh, somebody need to praise him. Don't look at what somebody else is going through, but you look at you. It's between you and God. I wish I had some praises in this place today. Open your mouth and say, bless me. Indeed. Bless me. Bless me. Oh. Don't look how far you have to go. But look at how far you come. I ain't where I need to be. But thank God I ain't where I used to be. Oh, you missed that. Ain't nobody arrived yet. But I'm pressing my way. Tell somebody it's a process. Things come up to test you. It can even be in your home. To see what you're going to do. To see if I can be in large. You got the past. Test. And let me tell you something. When you are in this type of prayer, where you're asking God to bless you indeed, and He ain't talking, and you doing all the talking, the reason is the teacher never talked while the student is taking the test. That's why you got to study the Word of God for yourself. To know that the Word can't fail. To know that the Word is not. He ain't saying nothing because, hey, you got the information. I done downloaded the revelation in you. Now, let me see what you're going to do. Why are you waiting for me to change it? Is you going to still praise me? Is you still going to lift me up? Is you still going to come to church? Is you going to close your Bible? Are you going to read? Your... It's more people suffer with silence problems. Not because of the pollen, because the dust of their Bible. <laughs> the dust this thick on the Bible. And when you walk by, it mess up your allergies. To keep the dust off anything, you got to open up the Word. And read what the words say. Because in the beginning was the word. And the word was with God. And the word was God. Yes. Bless me indeed. I can't keep the book shut. I got to open up the book. I got to take a look at the book. And one of the amazing part about it, when you read the Bible, I got a Bible that I do nothing but read, that I got study Bibles. But when I'm just going to read, I'm not looking for a revelation. I'm just reading. I'm just eating that word. Yeah, you, you, you ain't trying to understand. Just fill up on it. Because it's the Holy Ghost job that's going to bring you to revelation. See, the enemy is always trying to track down God's servant. But he used the Acme products like the cow they use for the road runner. It keep blowing up in his face. It keep backfiring. 
In other words, you keep running, you keep pursuing. You don't stop, you don't back up, you don't turn to the right, you don't turn to the left. You keep moving forward in the things of God. You can't compare yourself to nobody else. It's between you and God. People say, well, you know, I don't want to preach like you. But do you want the hell I go through? You ain't going to just get the good. You're going to get the bad. See, if it was left up to me, I'd have just been saved and been a usher. <laughs> but he said, oh, uh, no, I got more for you. Yeah, I got more for you. So he said, I didn't bring you out to do nothing. I brought you out to do something. All right. And you're going to have to come to me. All you that labor yeah. and are heavy laden. And I'll give you rest. Let me tell you, when God called you to do a task, and I thank God for you, I thank God for what Sylvester and each one of y'all doing in this house. But how do I know it's God? God won't call you to do something easy. That's right. Mm -mm. He'll never give you something. He can upgrade and bless your house and give you a rubber power, a bigger house. But let me tell you what. You will have to depend on him to keep it. See, God will never give you nothing that you can exclude him. You'll never be in a position to say, well, look at what I did. Look at what he did. No, no, no. Look at what God did. This is a God thing. And God works through people. Just like Satan worked through people. He need a body to work through. The Holy Spirit need a body to work through. That's right. So it just depends on who working through you. Amen. You remember I like to play on acronyms, right? Yeah. So last week I told you sin is self-inflicted nonsense. Uh -huh. And Jesus' remedy was that was self-inflicted negative. I got another one for you. Sin, S-I-N, is Satan's identification number. That's how you identify him. By S-I-N. Because the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God, somebody need to praise God for giving us a gift that we couldn't afford. You could get all of the billionaires all over the whole world and they didn't have enough to buy this gift. But God just gave us this free gift of salvation. Somebody need to pray. Because if it were just for the rich people, we would be out of gas and still smoking gas. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah. But thank God. For Jesus. For new life. A new way. Mm. So when I say he won't make it easy is. Your extremities. Is God's opportunities. <laughs> yes. I can't answer all your questions. But God can. And he told me to tell you, when you don't understand, to just will stay. Right. So when you've done all you can do, yeah. just stay. Yeah. And give him the glory. Yeah. Give him the praise. Yeah. Give him the honor. And all of the glory. Yes, High five your neighbor and say, neighbor. Yeah. It's some indeed blessed people in this house. Bless people in this house. Yes, God is fixing to bless somebody up in here. Up in here. Indeed. Some people in here think something wasn't going to come to pass no more. 
When you thought something was dead, God resurrected it. Don't you remember? He said, I am the resurrection. And I am the life. God specializes in dead stuff. When they call you half dead, he'll get you up. When you are Shout! Lord, go get some legs. He gonna have running in his. 
raises up in this place. How many want to give? I want it coming in, going out. I want it pressed down, shaking the gather, and running over. Shall men give it to our bosom? You're going to have a big business. You're going to have a convoy of trucks.
Now that caused pain. When he expanded, he one thing I love about the Lord. He cuts you, then he sew you. Yes, yeah, he'll cut you now. I'm a living witness. But he'll sew you up and put you back together again. He's the part of we the clay. Don't the part of have power over the clay? Yes, he do. Think big. Last thing, you can't hang out with small thinking people. Because they'll delay you. They'll tell you you can't make it. Who he thinks she is or who you think he is. Proverbs 23 and 7 says, as a man thinking, so is he. As you think, so are you. Blessed indeed. Last thing, remember when God told Abram he was going to bless him? His name, Abram, means exalted father. But God said, I'm going to make you father of many nations. So Abraham, when somebody would say, Abraham, you know what his reply was? Father of many nations. He kept speaking what God said. Speak the word. It's time, you done did the announcement, so it's time for a titan offering. Tithe and offering, and then after that, it's our custom here to do communion on the first Sunday. After that, we'll do that, and we'll have you out before noon. Amen. 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 And thank God for our guests. Amen. Ready to come back to you. Amen. Thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Wasn't that an exciting word? Talking no longer. Be ready. Be ready. Be uh, participating in the tithe and offering. I think we have the QR code. You can scan the QR code up there for Cash App if you if you can't scan it. Uh, the link is dollar sign PFCM3. Dollar sign PFCM3. If you have a card, you can come up and you can see First Lady and scan your card. And we just thank you. We thank you. Father God, we thank you. Just put your tithe and offering in your hands. Father God, we thank you right now, oh Lord. Thank you for the gift to be able to give, Father God. We thank you right now for, for the ones who can give, Father God. Bless the ones who can't give right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus. Now, Father, we give to you ungrudgingly, Father God. We just thank you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. 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 Again, we want to thank God for our visitors, our visitors that are here right now. We just thank God for you. I see my cousin back there. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. He reached out. He reached out yesterday. We talked a little bit yesterday. I said, I want to see you in the house today. He said, all right, I'm going to be there. Okay, he came, he came today. Praise God for him. Praise God for him. Uh, don't forget the announcements that were made earlier today. Uh, if you want to participate in the uh, family and friends event, uh, we're going to meet briefly after church, after church, so that we can start getting everything uh, solidified with that. And on next Sunday, next Sunday, we're going to have a brief meeting after service. We're going to have, we're asking all of the body of, of People for Christ Ministries, we will stay after next Sunday. We're going to have a brief meeting for the full body of People for Christ Ministries. I have some glasses up here that were brought from brought up to me today. I don't know who the glasses are. These look like some nice little Barbie glasses. Somebody, young daughter, lost their Barbie glasses. We're going to keep them in the back on the sound stage back there. Somebody bought the glasses. I don't know. <laughs> we thank God. We thank Him. We thank God for what He's 
doing here at Feet for Christ Ministries. Uh, we're asking everybody to please join in. Join in. Join your ministry here uh, at People for Christ. You know, we have a lot of ministries that we're, we're starting to develop here at People for Christ Ministries. As you can see, we have a, a, we're going to start establishing a facilities ministry here at People for Christ Ministries. In that ministry, as you can see, Brother Sylvester came out. We want to be making sure that we keep the, the upkeep of God's house and our house up to par because when, you say, when somebody come to your house what you're doing you're cleaning up you're doing painting you got all kinds of stuff you got going on so this is god's house this is our father's house and we want to make sure that we keep it presentable for him amen amen the greetings ministry if you want to join the greetings ministry you can see uh minister power or deacon theo back there if you want to see the greetings the greetings the greatest ministry. Sister Hope, Reverend Hope? Yeah. Oh, but well, that's what you need to see, my man. See, Reverend Hope, if you want to be a part of the greatest ministry, of course, we have the youth ministry here. They are doing very well. They're doing very well here with the, with the youth ministry, um, praise team ministry, uh, women's ministry. We have the men's ministry. So we have a lot going on here at People for Christ Ministries that we want you, 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 and you to be a part of. Amen, amen. But without further ado, if you want to join us in the communion ceremony service, we ask that you please move forward a little bit. Let's all come together, move forward, and we can get ready for communion. Amen.